Hello again, it's Tubal Kane. Going to give you uh, another lesson here in old technology, namely pipe threads, which are still commonly used even though we've uh, switched pretty much to plastic and copper and other types of pipe. But uh, the threaded pipe is still used in repair jobs and certainly is used for natural gas in homes uh, and it's required by most codes. But uh, the interesting thing about uh, pipe threads is that they are tapered and as uh, both internally and externally and as you tighten them along with your joint compound this is what uh, gives you a good seal but uh, yes Virginia there are straight pipe threads also but I won't be talking about those right now uh, the most common sizes are eighth inch pipe quarter inch three eighths half three quarter one inch and then it still goes way up uh, one and a quarter, one and a half, two, and so on up to about four inch. Now in the smaller sizes, uh, and by the way I have a tap laying here for the appropriate size too. There's an eighth inch tap and uh, a tap for each size here, but I couldn't find the one inch, but, but there's a two inch tap. That's kind of an expensive tap if a fellow was forced to buy one. In the smaller sizes, uh, you can buy pipe dies in uh, these little round dies. So that's a eighth inch pipe die and that's a three eighths or a quarter rather and a three eighths and then a half inch uh, uh, die right here but you probably would want to use uh, the rigid die rather than, than that type but those are available and they would be cheaper than buying the great big dies. When I worked at a hardware store back in the early 60s as a teenager, I uh, spent pretty much the entire morning uh, every Saturday threading pipe. People would come in with arm loads of it or they would buy a uh, pipe and they wanted to cut to length and then uh, threaded because they couldn't do this at home simply because they didn't have the dies. And you can still get this uh, pipe cut at any home center or uh, a hardware store or certainly at well, plumbing supply, but you're going to pay an arm or leg. I don't know what they charge you for a thread now. It used to be 25 cents when I was a kid to put a thread on, no matter what the size was. But in just a minute here, I'll be out in the garage, and I'm going to show you how to put uh, cut pipe, ream it, and put a thread on. One thing old Tubal Cain forgot to mention here is that on any given size of pipe, for instance this is a three-quarter pipe, that a three-quarter inch is a nominal size. That is to say it isn't truly three-quarters on the inside or the outside for that matter, but it's a, it's a close to that and uh, we just call that a nominal size. And uh, It's confusing if somebody tries to measure this and uh, determine what the size is if they have no uh, experience with pipe. Uh, same thing with uh, the one inch. It's fairly close to, to one inch, but it but it isn't uh, really one inch. Most and decimal uh, equivalent charts have a small section close, but regarding uh, pipe uh, and some of the and other sizes, uh, it, it just uh, makes no sense still picture on this. Video. For instance, in this uh, eighth inch pipe, uh, I'm going to put a here's an eighth inch drill bit, and you can see that it's you know has no correspondence at all to a true eighth inch. So that's what we call nominal. All right, so let's thread some pipe. I've got a piece of three quarter inch galvanized in uh, my nice Wilton vise and it has a set of pipe jaws. Uh, a pipe vise is even better, but this is a quality vise, not made in China. If you've got a Chinese one, get rid of it. Use it for a boat anchor and uh, buy yourself a decent one used. Okay, uh, this is a pipe cutter, and it's just like a tubing cutter. We'll open it up a little bit, get it on there, get it started, and uh, we turn it one turn, and then we screw in the cutter a little bit, and <coughs> do that until you cut the end off.
that'll give you a nice square end. Now. now, when you do that, you always end up with a burr on the inside as it rather compresses the pipe. That'll restrict flow of water, gas, whatever you are uh, got going through the pipe. So use this big pipe reamer. I call it a hemorrhoid remover. It's a wicked looking thing. It's got a bit of a helix on it that tends to pull it in. So I put that into the a pipe and uh, push on it. And do that until, see the shavings coming off? Until it takes the burr off. It'll take a little bit more than that, but that smoothed it up nicely. Now it's ready to thread. Be sure and use plenty of this uh, sulfurized cutting oil. It's great for threads. Here's my three-quarter inch pipe thread made by Rigid. Other makes are good too. Uh, I think Rigid has the premier brand. Now I'm pushing this in as I turn it until it engages. And you can feel it cut. I like to keep a waste basket or newspaper or something under there to catch the chips because they're oily. You don't really need to back this off every time, but I like to from time to time. And I'll also give you a chance to put just a little more oil on it. Now you're going to continue in this manner until you thread it. Uh, remember, these are tapered threads. Until you have about two threads sticking out the end of the die. And then you, you know you have about the standard length of a thread that you need. The farther you go in, the harder it gets. You might hear this old man panting. I'll break the thread off. I'm reversing the ratchet. I'm sure most of you are of you are familiar with this type of uh, thread cutter. Got about two more revolutions to go. Back off the chip one more time. I used to do a lot of this at the hardware store when I was a teenager, before plastic plate. All right, we got two threads sticking out. Let's take it off. And you can spin that thing. And there we've got it. Nice tapered thread. Wipe it off, get it clean, ready to use.